How's it going everyone? Hope you're doing good. Mr. Boulder back tonight with an album review video and uh, today I'm going to be talking about the uh, brand new album from Skid Row. Uh, now, confession time, I haven't listened to a Skid Row album since Subhuman Race came out in 1995. That's 27 years ago. Um, it's been a lot of hype about this new album, so I decided to give it a listen. I know they've been making albums uh, throughout the early 2000s, I think, with uh, Johnny Solinger on vocals, who sadly passed away. I never did check those albums out. There was nothing sort of really making me want to give them a listen and check them out. But there's been a lot of hype about this new record. So I decided I would give it a listen. Um, I don't have a physical copy to show. Um, we're coming up to Christmas in a couple of months, and uh, my wife doesn't really like me buying any music uh, this time of year because she doesn't want me to go out and buy something that she's uh, going to get me as a present. So I've been listening to this album on Spotify. I uh, listened to it about seven times. These guys have got a new vocalist called Eric Grunwall. Um, he's from Sweden. He used to front the band Heat. On drums here, you've got uh, Rob Hammersmith. Not familiar with him. But then you have the guys you expect. Uh, Rachel Bowen on the bass. Um, Scotty Hill on the guitars. And uh, Dave Sabo on the guitars. So yeah, this album's been getting a lot of hype. So I decided to give it a listen. So let's find out what I think about it. So the first track, Hell or High Water, um, is a fantastic opening track. It's very up-tempo. It's packed with great riffs. Solos are fantastic. A very catchy chorus. Um, and the vocals are superb. It's really, really good. A great way to start an album, no doubt about it. Really, really good, strong start. And things continue in the same vein. Uh, second track, um, the title track, The Gang's All Here. Um, nice bass uh, in the intro from Rachel Boland sounds really good. Um, again, great riffs and a massive chorus. This song is superb. This deserves to be a title track. Uh, very, very catchy. The first time I listened to this song, I was singing along to the chorus before I even finished. It's that good. Very, very catchy. A great hook. Song sounds fantastic. Uh, brilliant chorus. Fantastic vocals. Um, third track, Not Dead Yet, is more of the same. A great chorus, uh, up-tempo, nice riffs, really enjoy the riffs in this one. Um, yeah, that's another great track. Then you get to track four called Time Bomb. Now, when I first heard this track, I wasn't a massive fan of the tick, tick, tick line in the chorus. Um, but I listen to it now and uh, absolutely love it. don't think anything of it. Again, another great track. Uh, nice gang vocals on this track and across this entire album to be honest when it comes to thrash metal i'm not too much of a fan of gang vocals but on this album um, they sound fantastic really really good uh very catchy chorus great vocals and you get to resurrected which kind of sums up this album to be honest and the band uh, a great track really good uh, nowhere fast is another great up-tempo track packed with great riffs really nice soloing uh, when the light comes on, again, Rachel Bowen's bass uh, in the intro sounding really good. Uh, then the riffs come in following the bass. Again, sounds great. The riff writing on this record is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, the drums are fantastic. Then you get to Tear It Down, which for me could be the best song on the album. Very, very catchy chorus. Again, easy to sing along to. This album's just packed full of songs there. Easy to sink your teeth into and sing along to in absolutely no time at all. Fantastic chorus, great solo. Then you get to October's song, which is the only ballad on this album. Now, what stands out to me about this ballad is ballads these days from old school bands are usually bloody awful. Um, I'm looking at you, Def Leppard and Bon Jovi. Um, not the case here. This is a fantastic track. Um, if I was going to be critical about anything... Uh, it goes on for a little bit too long, but I still really enjoy the tune. Again, it's got a great chorus, great solos. Ballads from old school bands are usually not very good these days, but not the case here. This is a good tune. I really enjoy this one. And then it ends with uh, World on Fire. Again, it's another up-tempo track. It's got another killer chorus. Great solos in this one. The drums sound fantastic. And uh, that's the last track, and it's absolutely fantastic. Great song. And, um, yeah, it's an album that, let's be honest, you know what I'm going to say. I think it's fucking brilliant. Really, really good album. This album's just over 41 minutes long. Perfect uh, length for an album to be. Uh, Rob Hammersmith's drums are great. Um, I'm not familiar with any of his work uh, other than this, but he's done a great job replacing Rob Afuso. Uh, the guitars of Scotty Hill and Dave Sabo are absolutely fantastic as well. Um, the riffs throughout this entire um, album are really, really good. 
Um, the leads are great as well. The guitar playing across the whole album is fantastic. Rachel Bowman's bass sounds great when you hear it clearly when there's nothing else going on. But Eric Gronwell, the new vocalist, uh, for me, is just the perfect replacement for Sebastian Bach. He slotted in perfectly. Uh, this band sound refreshed, uh, resurrected. Um, all the R words, basically, they sound absolutely phenomenal. Um, this album's great. Uh, I have to say, if you just said to me at the start of this year that in 2022 I would be listening to the newest Skid Row album and would be blown away by it, I wouldn't have believed you. But that is what the case is. This album is absolutely fantastic. I cannot wait until Christmas comes when I can get uh, the vinyl copy of this. This record has really surprised me. I just wasn't expecting to enjoy as much as I was. But um, I'm absolutely loving it. There are no bad songs on this. Like I say, October song maybe goes on for a little bit too long. That's the only criticism I can hurl at this record. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, just a brilliant, brilliant album. And this is definitely going to be in my top 10 of the year, no doubt about it. Uh, phenomenal record. Sometimes change is a good thing. You need to bring someone in to freshen things up. And this new singer has absolutely freshened things up. He sounds just as good as Sebastian, has to be said, back in the day. And that's no doubt why he got the job. Just an absolutely massive record. The Skid Rose, The Gang's All Here is an album that has absolutely blown me away, really surprised me, and I cannot wait until I've got a physical copy of it at Christmas. Just, um, it's got to be said, you know, um, old, old school hard rock bands these days who put out new albums, usually you'll get a few good tracks and the rest of it's not very good at all. This one is just phenomenal. Um, I'd say this is um, the best hard rock record I've heard from an old school band since Rats Infestation in 2010, and this is much better than that. I mean, I think about some of the giants of yesteryear, like Bon Jovi and Def Leppard, what they're putting out these days, it's absolute shit compared to this. This album pisses all over those. Skid Row's latest album is an absolute banger, and um, if you haven't heard it, I recommend you go and listen to it straight away, because you will not be disappointed. This is an album that sounds like an old-school hard rock album, but um, it sounds fresh and up-to-date at the same time, you know. It does sound like um, a product of its time, but at the same time, it sounds very fresh and up-to-date. Just an excellent album, and uh, you've got to check out if you're into these guys and you've not listened to it, because um, I won't lie, I wasn't going to check it out first, but now I did. I'm really glad I have, because it's absolutely fantastic. Great album from these guys, Skid Rose, um, The Gang's All Here. Check out if you haven't heard it. Um, yeah, obviously, this is a 10 out of 10 for me. I'm absolutely loving it. So there we go, guys. That's my quick review of uh, Skid Row's The Gang's Hall here. Their new album, which has been out about three weeks, four weeks now, I suppose. Check it out. It's absolutely phenomenal. Great stuff. I'll be back with you soon. Uh, take care, and I'll catch you later. Bye.